Genius. It's James Forgato of God Over Genius. Man, listen, man, I'm here to react, man, to Tom Brady's Netflix roast hosted by Kevin Hart, man. I got the laptop pulled up with all the different comedians, man. I'm going to go one by one and give you uh, my critique of their stand up or their set, so to speak, against Tom Brady. Uh, this was a this was an interesting roast because I don't know what made Tom Brady do this. Some people say it's a humiliation ritual or something because ain't no way, man, Brady just woke up and said this was a good idea or this is something he had on his bucket list. But I'm glad he had a great sense of humor, man. Uh, me personally, man, I love to laugh. I, I love comedy. I think comedy is one of the most beautiful things created ever to to find things to laugh at and poke fun at, man, in this hectic world that we live in at times, man. It's a good thing to have that type of relief. And it's also good to find humor in things. With that being said, hell no. Nah. Some of the things they said in this stand-up was, was nah, nah. We would have had to, <laughs> no. Let's start with Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart, man, to me, he was very impressive. It was a He was a good master of ceremony, great host, man. It was a live event. I didn't catch it live. I just caught it after it had uh, went down and it, it was added to Netflix. But nevertheless, man, Kevin Hart, man, <laughs> Kevin was just funny, man. I got to give it to him, man. I ain't the biggest fan of Kevin Hart as a stand-up comedian, but I always thought Kevin was cool. And uh, I, was, I know it's not easy, man, getting in front of a bunch of people and trying to make them laugh on a consistent basis. Uh, my hat goes off to him. He set the tone. He was his his thesis throughout the night was uh fuck you Tom he would just say that all the time man no matter what when he, when he went to the next person I love this energy man and kudos to Kevin man for for bringing Bill Belichick and Robert Kraft together you could tell it was tension throughout the night you really didn't know what was real or what was just jokes it was it was kind of hard to navigate at times because. Well, people in there drinking, you saying people tipsy, and then there's cameras, and people got to put on for the cameras. But, hey, man, Kevin Hart brought Bill Belichick and Robert Kraft together to have a toast, and I don't think they'd have been friends, but that. So that was one of the biggest highlights. I don't think they're the best of friends, Robert Kraft and Bill Belichick, but for the sake of the Patriots dynasty and, and the legacy that they created together, they came together for, for the Brady roast and gave a toast. First order of business, man. I'm gonna go with the people I really enjoyed the most. Sam J, uh, the the black the black female that's a that's a lesbian. She won me over as a fan. I don't know what I saw her on before, but I saw her on something, and I knew she would be good. I don't know if it was a movie or a show, but I saw her on something, and she did a phenomenal job, man. She she has a great aura about herself. She's definitely a star, and um. Uh, She's, she's going to do a lot of great things when it's all said and done. This was a good look for Sam J. I don't even remember all the jokes because that was a three hour long. That was a three, three hour long event, man. That was, it was a lot, man. So shout out to Sam J. I really enjoyed her. She did her thing. Nikki Glazer. She was, a she was another good one. I think, I think she was the first person to go maybe, but she has some very clutch punch lines. But she paid for it uh, after she, she sat down because a lot of people had jokes about her. I think the person that stole the show was Tony Hinchcliffe, I believe. That's how you say his name. I was never familiar with him until this. And, yeah, I'm going to have to do some research on him. He had a deaf comedy jam type approach. He was talking like how they did on BET Comic View back in the day. I if this is if this what it took to bring that type of comedy back, I'm here for it because I haven't saw nothing that vulgar and that bold in a minute. You probably have to go to comedy clubs to see something like that, and I don't be going. But to see that on television, I was blown away. He was saying some challenging statements, talking about black people, talking about, of course, Brady. He even talked about Kim Kardashian and told her she needed to close her legs. You know, in the show said uh, Wells vagina or something like that. He was he stole the show. Uh, let's see who else. It was these two dudes that got up there at the same time. Uh, dang, I don't even know their names, man. They were funny as hell. The Randy Moss though, when Randy Moss went up, I wasn't feeling that. I think Randy got too much respect and too much love for Brady, 
and he really he really wasn't saying anything. You could tell he really wanted to make sure he didn't say anything that could jeopardize their relationship. I don't think he should have went up. Uh, Rob Gronkowski, he was very entertaining, funny, and he, Rob half slow anyway. So it's like Rob just funny. He's super cool. He just seemed like the perfect person to hang out with is non-judgmental with a great sense of humor and he spiked the shot glass like on stage only rob gronkowski julius edelman do gay oh i don't even and I, I i don't even think that's all they talked about with julius edelman the whole night is like jokes about him being on top of tom's you know what and but i don't remember none julius said but he has a great podcast. I love his podcast. And when he breaks down Patriots, Dynasties, and all their classic games and Super Bowl runs. Shout out to uh, Julius Edelman. Drew Bledsoe. I enjoy Drew Bledsoe's uh, take when he got up there and spoke. Drew got a great sense of humor, man. I didn't know Drew was that funny. That's why you can't judge a book by his cover because I literally thought Drew was very nonchalant and ultra serious. But. He was quite entertaining. I enjoyed what he did. Shout out to Drew Bliss. Don't remember a joke other than him talking about how Brady took his job and he wanted to kill him almost. What else, man? I know Peyton Manning came out as a surprise guest. I wish it had been Eli. Ben Affleck, that was trash. I don't remember nothing Ben Affleck said. Tom Burgundy, fictional character, but Will Ferrell, trash. Wasn't feeling that. Bill Belichick. Bill Belichick was cool, you know what I'm saying? I was surprised to see him in that light. But, yeah, he came out, and it was just good to see Bill like that. Everybody talking about, like, Bill ain't got no ain't got no job, and you know, buddy, ain't nobody want him and all that type of stuff. Then he kept poking fun at who made, who made Tom Brady the GOAT or who made the Patriots what they became as far as success. And he was saying it was – Basically him because he said he made the call on Tom Brady and him and Tom Brady was the masterminds that made the dynasty what it was. Now, a lot of people, the most trending thing about this Netflix series, and I'm going to wrap this up, is uh, Tom Brady checked Jeff Ross when he made a joke about Brady making a massage to Robert Kraft or whatever when he got drafted. And Brady was like, uh, he got up there and was like, hey, don't say that shit again. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He got real black on him when he said that. And Kevin Hart had already said Brady Brady got a lot of black in him. And it, it's a lot to say, man. Well, this was a three-hour event, man. But nevertheless, man, I think I think you should check it out. It was very dope, man. Very entertaining, very funny. I look forward to seeing, like, who's the next celebrity. <clears throat> pardon me. Who's the next celebrity to, like, get up and do that? Because this was very, very funny. I will watch it again if it wasn't so long, but it's only certain people I want to see. But this might be what bring that real type comedy back because we ain't seen nothing like this probably since BET. If you made this far to the video, man, I want to say th I want to say thank you for watching, man. I am James Forgotto, man. As always, be God love with the geniuses in you. Subscribe God to the God love the genius YouTube channel, man. Hit the notification bell and subscribe. God love the genius.